This is a group of ash trees in the University of Kentucky's Arboretum that have been treated for the emerald ash borer. The adult stage of the EAB is a small dark green metallic beetle the size of a quarter. The insect may be small, but its damage can be costly. The way to think about it is you're either going to pay a lot of money up front to have the tree removed or you're going to pay that in installments over successive years to have the tree treated. But if you have an ash, you are going to have to spend some money on it. The ash tree is a valuable hardwood used for everything from furniture to flooring. But once the EAB has attacked an ash tree, about its only value is firewood. They, it will take out all the ash trees. The, the blue ash tree is a little bit more resilient. It takes longer for the emerald ash borer to kill it. It's not its preferred species, but even the blue ash will be taken out eventually. If they want to save a tree, they need to be thinking about it and watching it. Susan Fox says I, I the EAB the is now entering western is Kentucky. That it is approaching our area. It's in neighboring counties, in Crittenden County, and that it's going to gr build gradually. Fox says people should be on the lookout for thinning crowns of their ash trees uh, yeah, with flaking bark, revealing serpentine tunneling of the larva and an inverted D-shaped exit hole flat on one side and round on the other, where the adult has exited the tree. It is important to figure out how big the tree is around in diameter. Jonathan Larson said the spread of the emerald ash borer is a slow process. Their natural spread isn't all that quick. You have to compare it to like a cheetah and a slow moving tortoise. Their natural spread is like the tortoise, but we can sometimes move the wood around and get them to these new locations a lot quicker. Larson said if you own ash trees, be prepared to make some hard decisions on whether to remove the tree now and pay the money up front or invest over the next 10 years to treat the tree. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.